Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Okay, nice to meet you. If you are a returning viewer, girl, I missed you and I love you dearly. Okay, the message that I received from God last night, I heard God say marriage. Okay, literally, that's what he said. Um, the bookmark says God's best is always worth the wait. Oh, hit that hit grace and peace be yours in abundance okay this is for somebody you have been waiting on marriage you have been waiting on marriage and god is saying god's best is worth the wait okay not only are you god's best because the person you're waiting on has probably been waiting too but the person that you are going to receive is going to blow your mind i just i just hear that it's going it's going to be shocking you are going to feel as though where did this angel come from okay the scripture god gave me comes from romans 6 15 through 23 what then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace by no means don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves you are slaves of the one you obey whether you are slaves to sin which leads to death or to obedience which leads to righteousness but thanks be to god that though you used to be slaves to sin you have come to obey your heart the pattern of teaching that has now claimed your allegiance you have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. I'm using an example from everyday life because of your human limitations. Mm. Just as you used to offer yourselves as slaves to impurity and to ever increasing wickedness. So now you offer yourself as slaves to righteousness leading to holiness. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. What benefit did you reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Our Lord. <clears throat> this is for someone. You have been... Maybe in the past, you just felt as though you didn't want to get married. Maybe in the past, you felt as though um, you had been waiting so long for marriage and you just gave up hope. Maybe in the past, you felt as though if you didn't um, have, you know, sex before marriage, your person would leave you or your person would not want to be with you or your person would not accept you. And I feel like that didn't work out for you anyway, obviously. And um, not to say obviously like that, but I'm just saying because this, if this message is hitting home to you, then it is because that relationship did not work out. And I feel like with this scripture, God is saying it didn't work out because you then, instead of being a slave to righteousness and keeping your celibacy, you were a slave to your sin and it didn't work out anyway. While you were able to do what you wanted to do, you still it still ended in heartbreak. And don't feel like I'm just uh, getting on you. I'm just banging on you. I, I've been there. Okay, so don't even do me that. But I'm just being real. I feel like with this scripture, God is saying, wait for marriage. Wait, wait, wait. If a man tells you that he can't wait until marriage, he's not for you anyway. Because if he truly loves you, he would wait. He will be able to wait. When a man truly loves you, he will put forth the effort to not only wait on marriage, but to actually marry you. And sometimes when we give a man everything before we are married to them, they kind of feel like, what's the point of marrying you now? Like, what, what other, what else am I going to get? Do I get anything new? Is anything going to change? So in reality... God is saying, the reason I want you to wait, these rules are not, like I said on my fasting videos, these rules are not hard. And in reality, if you look at the rules, the Ten Commandments, they are there to protect us from not only harming ourselves, but causing ourselves harm. Okay? That's the same thing, Star. All right, harming others. Okay? Rather. You know, some of these uh, statues are not hard, okay? It's not hard to not sleep with somebody else's person because if you sleep with somebody else's person, not only are you hurting yourself, you're hurting the pers that person's mate, their true mate, the their true wife or true husband, and that falls on you. Eventually, it is going to end in destruction no matter what. 
if you fornicate, okay, sex before marriage. Like I said, this person may end up feeling like they don't have a reason to marry you. They may feel like they don't want to marry you now. And, you know, sometimes just standing our ground is good for us. Y'all know I was watching this video of this clown name is and how these men sit online and make money tearing down women. And they make a good profit turning down women. That is what they do. They teach men how to be dogs. They teach men how to be boys. They teach men how to turn away from being a man and instead be a low down dirty shame. Okay, to be honest. That is what they are teaching men. They are teaching men that they should try to not even pursue women. And then I, I think in one point, this man said that if the woman has her own, you have to tear her down to your level. Huh? It's crazy. And you know, I was just talking to, uh, I'm not going to say who, but I was talking to someone about this and I was saying how hard it will be as a woman who is, you know, if I get to a certain point, it will be hard for me to find someone that will be able to accept that. And I was like, no, then you if, you, if that man can't accept it, then he ain't no man. And that's real. If a man cannot accept a woman who is, how do I, successful, then that is on that man. That means that man feels like he's less than. It's nothing about the woman. I don't, like I said, I don't carry myself like I'm better than anybody. I don't carry myself like I got it all together or like I got it going on or nothing like that. I'm not arrogant. I'm not narcissistic. I'm so down to earth. It don't make no sense. And um, any man that feels offended by me, he it's really not me. And I feel like that's a message for some of y'all. You know, it's a lot of these uh these shows on YouTube and these people that come out speaking, trying to tell men that they should dog women out. They shouldn't get married. They shouldn't do this and they shouldn't do that. And I watch some of them. And, you know, a lot of times the type of women that they are talking about are a low percentage of women in the community in reality. And it's kind of like, if you don't want a woman like that, how about you stop looking at women like that? Stop going after women that act in that manner. There are other women. Hey, don't be online trying to make women out to be these monsters and you only talking about the 1%. Because there is a whole 99% that is being left out of the conversation, ignored and completely just tossed to the side and it's simply because they want a certain look they want a certain woman and you're not finna a woman that acts that way and looks that way and has that going on is simply not going to behave in the manner that these men want them to behave that the they want to it's like they they get a high off of finding strong women and tearing them down and you know it is it's not a woman's fault if a man feels insecure it is not a woman's fault if a man feels as though he can't stand next to her because she's so successful. Instead of trying to tear her down, it will make more sense for him to build himself up and come back and try again. Why would you want to tear down the person that you say you want to be with? Why would you tear down a person that you say you love? Why would you tear down a person that you care about? And I feel like this is another thing that this protects us from. Being celibate and saving ourselves, it protects us and it helps us to weed out the foolishness. Feed, weed out the trash, honestly. Weed out the nonsense. Weed out these insecure men that got all of these problems that they got going on. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because they didn't have um, certain people in the household. So now they're looking up to these men that really don't know what they're talking about. It's, it's more single people than it should be. And it's because of these mindsets. In reality, as a woman, I feel like I am more um, seeking now to build myself up than to just wait for somebody to come and take care of me. Because in reality, I, I don't want that. I've been there, I've done that, and it's not fun. A lot of times when you have a man just taking care of you, you don't have no say-so in your life. You don't have no say-so in what you have going on. And in reality, um, 
if the relationship goes bad, just like the scripture says, you are now feeling sad, you're feeling heartbroken, and you have lost out, and you did it to yourself. You can't be mad at anybody else, and it's just like these men and what they have going on because no woman is going to stand by and deal, no real woman, and that's the problem. They are seeking out women that are strong and trying to tear them down instead of seeking out a woman that they want and just accepting her and being okay with that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, long story short, okay, God is saying, I have somebody for you. The person I have for you is going to accept you as you are. The person I have for you is going to understand that they cannot change you and they don't need to change you. The person I have for you is not going to leave you sitting um sad. This person is not going to break your heart. This, place, this person is going to wait for you. And this person is going to be who you need, okay? They are going to help you build up the kingdom of God. This person is going to love you for who you are. And they are going to treat you like the queen that you are. And I feel like at this point, I am repeating myself. So that is the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.